Good evening again. Today we remember our friend, colleague, and member of our Local 12 family, John Lomax. He died unexpectedly yesterday after a bout with pneumonia and complications that followed. For nearly four decades, he delivered the news with honesty, integrity, as you, and as you're going to see in just a bit, humor. Longtime co-workers are sharing their heartbreak and reflecting today on what John meant to them. John was more than my co-anchor. He was my best friend, dear, dear friend. I adore him. And uh, he just was who he was, wherever he was. The same guy you saw on TV was the guy you would meet in person, and he was exactly the same. Not a phony bone in his body, um, no pretentiousness at all. He was just genuine, cool, whip smart, wise, so funny, so, so funny. <laughs> He was committed to making it a relationship-driven newsroom that felt like a family and we could go to war together and we want to win every story, but we want to be friends and nice to each other along the way. One of the men instrumental in hiring John was former Local 12 News anchor Nick Clooney. From his home in Augusta today, he told me how shocked he was at hearing the news and so soon after we all said goodbye to him on the air. This is the second time we've said goodbye in such a short period of time. We have talked about how wonderful he has been and what a great professional he has been and how important he has been to our city and to this station and to all of us. And this is the second time we've had to say goodbye in a very brief period of time. And I'm not sure I know how to do that. The two saw each other only a few weeks ago at Clooney's 90th birthday party. More on that at 6.